Welcome back everyone to the Des Moines Challenge. We are on the lead card of the back nine of this Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event out at Pickard Park in Indianola, Iowa. I'm Sarah Hokum here with Juliana Corver to call the action. Here we have the scores after the front nine, Missy Anning with a very clean front nine with five under, followed by Kristen's tar at three under. Paige is close back, only one behind Kristen. And Kat is making a move today. She is five under so far, and she has moved up the leader bar to tie Paige in third. Nine holes left. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is hole 10. This is a par five. It is 844 feet. The tee shot needs to navigate through these trees. A lot of people throw around the right side. You need to throw something that is assured to come back left because the tall grass is OB. Your second shot will hopefully get past that one tree in the fairway. And then your third approach needs to be very accurate as there is OB lining this entire green. Kristen up first with the rive. Oh, that's Ooh. a little too high. Yeah, there's some variable wind out there, and yeah. it changes by the minute. It, it does. It was gusty for sure. Missy taking a huge breath. Gathering herself, throwing the Zeus. Ooh, she's pushing that a little wide. Whew. You really need to to get into good position on this hole because those trees uh, are pretty wide. Paige also going Zeus and making a similar error as Kristen. Getting a little bit of carry forward though through that tree. Jess with a destroyer. Man, the wind was really, really bouncing that around. So all you need to do here is keep it in bounds so that you've got, got a chance to approach the green on your next shot. Just going back to that destroyer, puts a little move on it. Oh, hits the tree, but that's still, that's about 280 to the pin. Yeah, it's still reachable. You need to be very accurate, but it's, it's definitely still in the cards. Paige clubbing up to her more stable Zeus. Can get way down there. That is a great position. A couple hundred feet to go from there, I think. This hole played as the sixth most difficult today. Oh, Missy's uphill run up. Doesn't quite get what she wanted out of it. That's okay. She still has a shot. And actually, she's so far left that it's going to be straight looking at it. She doesn't have to turn it into the green. Kristen with a fortress, leaving it out right a little bit. Ooh, looks like that fell into the creek. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Missy going with a mantis. Oh, too much turn. And I think that's safe. There is a little cutout of the OB right there, and it runs more parallel or perpendicular to the line we're looking at right now. Jess with a great shot with her firebird, putting it inside the circle. Paved with a putter in her hand. I can see why that's her signature disc. <laughs> Getting a little tree love. A 
That should be close enough. With her putting, I would agree. A little pitch up from Kristen after that out of bounds lie. Looks like she must have landed underneath that bridge. Missy for par. Par is the name of the game here. She had zero bogeys and only two birdies to get herself to minus five at this point, but she has just parred out where I feel like the rest of the card is on roller coasters and not the good kind. Very well played by Paige. Hole 11, this is an 810 foot par three. A great drive will make it through the opening, but as long as the shot doesn't find either the right or left side, a birdie is still a possibility. You need to pull something up and over this uh, mound right here. The basket is absolutely blind. You cannot see it at all, um, but it is reachable on the second shot by most of the women. Paige reaching for her putter which she throws like 300 feet, so this is perfect. But this shot is not perfect. She is pinched on that right side. If oh, it had to be on one of the sides though, I'd choose the right side maybe in you, this gap. Maybe you would. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a little bit low out of the hand, but center cut, I would take that over the brush anytime. Missy, really focused, taking her time on the tee. Beautiful shot with her thrasher, getting that nice turn and fade. That's ideal. Very nice. All the way to that pinch point. I like how Kristen's keeping this low. If there is an angle problem, it's not going to be devastating. Yeah, and she throws it, I mean, all the way to past that pinch point. Now, Jess is, uh, with her shrike, she is throwing a roller. That what? was unexpected, and it's fantastic. Wow. Hey. Well, look at that. <laughs> I'm speechless. Look at these skills these ladies are showing. <laughs> Jeez. Paige, for her second... Fantastic. Really great shot. Looks like her buzz. Missy also going buzz. Ooh, it's good. I like how far it's moving to the left with a good roll to a short putt. I'd like to see them extend the flag on this hole so that... 10 feet higher than it currently is so that we could see it from where we're throwing our second shots. Agreed. You kind of have to pick something in the background mm -hmm. that is representative of where the basket might be. Jess, after that great roller for birdie. That's amazing. <laughs> That's all it takes, guys. <laughs> you just got to throw a really good tee shot and then throw a roller <laughs> with a flippy distance driver. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. And Missy gets the birdie, her third birdie of the round, to extend her lead. Wow. Wow, they're making this hole look so easy. This is not an easy hole. Uh, <laughs> they all birdied that. Wow, star frame. Hole 12, 260 feet, par three. This is straightforward. Your drive must make it through with the double mando. And you do, don't really need to turn it to the right, even though it looks like the basket is off to the right. If you have a straight shot, you can still end up inside of circle one. This tee pad also was very slippery. It was. The very back edge was quite mushy. Paige with the veteran towel move. Going fierce. Oh, oh that is probably the towel. I... She will proceed to the drop zone. If she missed the Mando, maybe she didn't even miss it yet. I think she hit the tree and landed short of the Mando. Okay. Jess with a Firebird. 
That is a pretty line. Oh, you know what? I think that was her leopard three, actually. Missy, who's out in front right now. Two-stroke lead. Going with a buzz. Great line, a little bit low. Edge of the circle. She has been great at making those today. Oh. Another slip. Both Cat and I slipped off that tee as well. But Kristen makes good on it, and it'll be a putt for birdie. And Paige over here in no woman's land with just, she probably wishes she was at the drop zone. Oh, she's, oh, she does. Fine. She, okay. <laughs> that was the wise thing to do. The foreshadowing, gosh. Um, all right, so this is her third. Oh, good tree. But that will not, that will, he will lose some strokes here. Kristen from 40. Smooth looking putt, just a little low. She knows she's running out of holes to catch Missy. Who Missy now, she's had a great year so far, but has yet to win any of these big events. She's in a good position right now to take her first. I wonder how she's handling the pressure. Ooh, well, that would be a, a, one of her first misses at, from that distance. But nobody else birdied it. So she's not losing strokes to this card. Katrina also slipped, even though Katrina's pushing right now, she also slipped on this hole and did not get the birdie. Even though this is a very short hole, this was the fourth most difficult hole today. Wow. It averaged 3.58. Super technical. Those are my favorite kind. So Missy now with a three-stroke lead. This is hole 13, 290 feet, par three. This is another blind left to right shot. You can see the bushy tree on the left. That is an OB circle around that tree. The basket is elevated and the green is very slightly sloping downward behind the basket. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe she's not throwing a sidearm. Like literally. But she's, I mean, if she can get, wow. Okay, I can <laughs> see why she's not throwing a sidearm. So there. <laughs> that was her leopard three, and she that was showed me. Missy going with a mantis. Ooh. Oh, oh, I thought she was going to hit that tree. It was so close. And she's got a putt for birdie. Kristen with a grace. Cut in the corner a little, a little tight. tight, but just tight enough. Paid with a soul. A little tight there, too. At least she kicked left. That rough on the right is nasty. Yes, it is. Another mis-execution. We're not seeing Paige's top game. No. This weekend, which I know can be very frustrating. Oh, oh my goodness. But she's still making amazing shots, even if they're not falling. Missy for birdie. Oh. 
That had a lot of heat. Boy, that had a good line. And Kristen for Birdie. Oh, man, this basket is just not catching. No, I guess we're not. They're not really making the shots, but <laughs> there's a lot of metal being hit. Yes. That was a little high. I was worried that wasn't going to stay in. Yeah, you can see that wind is kind of looks like the wind is blowing in her face a bit. And Jess... Or birdie, there it is. Putting another notch on her scorecard. And our leader still at minus six, Kristen and Jess not too far behind. Love those moments. Oh my gosh. Here we have hole 14. This is 606 feet par four. This beautiful fairway is shaped a bit like an hourglass with the first part of the fairway sloping downward. Then we have the creek here that is OB and then it slopes back upward. The play off the tee is usually to throw, to try to throw right in the middle or maybe on the left hand side. So then you can throw a hyzer or a straight shot through the gap. Just going destroyer and asking for it to kick. It does not. She is in the rough on the right. Missy going Zeus. This well, looks nice. Yeah, it looks really good. And I like that it's left. Well, that might be a little too far left. She, if she had skipped about half that distance, I think she'd be perfect. I think she can probably still turn something through the gap. Kristen taking the left side. There is a sweet spot on the, green, on the fairway, but that is not it. There is a sweet spot where the height is right, the trees are out of the way, you have the most room to work it. But 10 feet on either side, and it's not yeah, good. It, yeah, it's a small spot. This is one of my favorite holes, however, on this course. I find this really fun hole to play. Well, I would prefer to be a little left of that, but she should be able to turn something through there. Oh, with a slip, throwing the buzz. Oh, I guess she got to circle two. <laughs> that was a really fortunate slip miss. Now, this is a tricky one. If you don't turn and land in the short grass, there is an OB line on the creek, in the creek on the right-hand side. So Missy is safe, but doesn't look like birdie is an option anymore. I would just be throwing a layup there if oh, I were just getting caught up in the high branches Kristen going with the grace looking for some turn that is an aggressive wow and, and a good that's kick. A really good shot right from the knee yeah like flippy distance driver Jess, Leopard 3. That looks like inside the circle. Just barely. That'll be a look for par. Missy with a little work to do over here. Wow. Great. I like that angle. A little bit of a long putt, but that's well within Missy range. Valiant effort by Kristen. 
Trying to get that birdie, but she will settle for the par. Paige also with the birdie look. Trying to catch Missy. Can't do it. At least not on this hole. Just for par. Great putt. Really nice scramble there. Taking her time. You can see her breathing through the nerves. And she does it. <laughs> little finger action. It was a little high. I'm not sure she was sure that was going to go in when she let go of it, but the chain's caught. It's meant to be. So no birdies on the lead card, and Missy maintains her three-stroke advantage with just four to play. What do you think she's thinking right now? I think she might be a little nervous. It's cruising, so Missy, yeah, three strokes ahead at a minus three today. Jess also playing really well at minus three today, but still at minus three overall. And then you've got Paige and Cat right behind her. This is hole 15. It is 600 feet it is a par four uh, the first thing that you need to do is try to clear that tree right there either be in front of it or high of it i like the high side because then that gives you a little bit of a flatter run up and this second shot is both long and tricky because they've the green it slopes from right to left and shots are pulled down to the left side but you don't want to hang them out too far right because that's ob beyond the fence on the right hand side Jessica going with the strike. That's a great position. Missy with the Zeus. She was asking for it to go left, but it's really not necessary as long as you're not behind that tree and you can take a full run up. I took your I took your advice today and my I, I played a different route. And, and did it work? It did until I missed the second <laughs> shot. Kristen with a rive. That is excellent. That is right where I think you need to be. And flat ground. Page with the Zeus. I like that hyzer. Oh. That looked good to me. I'm surprised that hit that tree. She must have pulled that in a little bit too tight, trying to bite off more of that corner. It's going to be very hard for her to reach the hole from this position. Going back to the Zeus. Doesn't like it. This is the story of her day right now. Frustration after frustration with her tee shots and drives. On the other hand, we have Missy here who has played pretty flawless. Also going Zeus. There, that's nice. It's going to be a little bit farther left than she wants, but... She should still be able to get up and down from there. And par is good on this hole. I saw some big numbers this in the first round. This played as the most difficult hole today. Jess going destroyer. Also skipping left. A little bit blocked over there. Kristen with the best drive in the group. She definitely has the power to reach it. And that's nice and flat. And it's low. Ooh, got a little wind bounce. And pushing into the woods right by Jess. Paige throwing a recovery shot with her buzz. Ooh, fancy. Oh, that was beautiful. 
Missy pitching out. Oh, oh, left herself a tester. So far, she's passed those tests. Come on. Oh, wow. Kristen with a blocked look for Birdie. Yeah, I mean, you need like a nose up, air bounce, super spinny thing with twice as much power as you actually need. Right, and she's also below the basket, so she has to throw it even harder. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. Missy. With one of the few misses we've seen. So Missy losing a stroke to her card mates to go have only two strokes ahead of Jess and Kristen with three to play. This is hole 16. It is 315 feet. It is a par three. It is a blind right to left turning shot with significant elevation loss. There is water very close behind the basket. So good drives that look Drives that look good off the tee could either end up in the water or right under the pin, and you really don't know from the tee. Just got a turn. Came in, and that was good. Those little two blocker trees there seem to catch a lot of shots. Kristen with a harp, looking for a hard fade. Well, the tree gives it a hard fade, even if the disc didn't. But safe is good. I've seen a lot of shots go out of bounds on this hole. Paige really having trouble with her release today. And Missy, who just had one of her first missteps, her first bogey of the entire round, now trying to recover, throwing a zone. Certainly good stability for this shot. It's rolling. It's rolling. Like, good, <laughs> she knows it's coming up short. What a tough position. And what a great shot. Jeez. And... Uh, I don't know if that's in bounds, though. I think it is. But it's not pleasant. Missy with a long look for Birdie. She does not need to make this. And I guess she knows that. Kristen also with a little layup. Page with another sidearm recovery shot. Oh, it, okay, it did. Oh my <laughs> goodness. And Jess for birdie. Oh, good shot at it. Yeah, that tree looked like it was just in her way. It's so difficult to get a putt to move from right to left. You know, when you're trying to like, yes, you know, like spike it in there or something. Unless you have a little wind assist. Mm. The problem is you have to judge both right and left and front and back. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of difficult bullseye to hit. So no movement there. Missy still with two strokes and two to play under this difficult 17. This is an original hole, 235 feet par three, but it plays significantly longer than that as the pin is quite a bit above the basket in elevation. There's an obvious right gap and it takes uh, usually a flippy hyzer to get through there and hopefully slide up under the basket. Mm. 
just with a JK Valkyrie pushing it right into the rough. Oof. Kristen going Claymore. Oh, yep. she was close to that's, that. Yep. That's the one everyone hits. Missy with her signature Undertaker. Getting up the gap. Fading a little left into the rough. I'd rather be on where Missy is than to be on the right-hand side rough. Agreed. And Paige with a fierce. Looking to dial in her line. High and early. And over there by Missy. But over there, I know you're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Ugh, Kristen hits the tree with her harp. Jess from way over there on the right side, throwing through all the trees and right. giving herself a really easy putt for par. Fortunately, Kristen is not having an easy putt for par. This little hole played as the eighth most difficult. Which is surprising, right? 235, you think, oh, okay, it's a gap, but it's only 235. It looks like it's right there. The sign tells you it's right there, but it plays long, and it plays tighter than it looks, too. Missy doesn't need to take any risk here laying it up. Man, I'd love to know what's going through her head right now. <laughs> One more hole. One more hole. Right? Paige, chain out left. Good effort for the birdie. And Jess with the huge scramble from wherever she was in the <laughs> woods. And Kristen dropping back a stroke. So Missy going into the final hole with a two-stroke lead. I mean, Jessica could catch her. And Jessica's got the distance for a birdie on this final hole. Yes, this final hole is 905 feet. It's a par five, and a lot can go wrong on this hole. It is a beautiful finished hole, but it plays very long off the tee as there's a gradual incline up. There's all these random, not a lot of trees, but they're random and they seem to always be in the way, especially these two right here on your second shot. You want to be in front of this bushy tree so that you have some kind of a look at this pinch point. You want to either lay up short of that or try to go for longer for than that um, so that you have a nice approach to the basket. The basket does have a little bit of a slope that can come into play. And of course, all the people that are going to be on the bleachers will get into your mind as well when you're putting. Jess putting a huge move on her destroyer. That's way up there. Wow. Missy, her final tee shot of the day to possibly secure her first Elite Series win. Oh, she doesn't want to be behind those trees. It's going to make it a little bit more tricky for her second shot. I'm thinking she's playing this for par. Oh, certainly. Either way. Certainly. Paid with a big rip with the Zeus. Great shot. And Kristen with a grace. Gracefully showing us <laughs> how to throw a beautiful shot with some turn. Very pretty line. Missy a little bit pinched over here. Going Zeus again. Oh, that looks good. As long as it's in front of that bushy tree. Oh, she's still got a contend with that but should have a hyzer around yeah. it it's not in, in you know she's not going to get a birdie from that lie but 
just yes. aggressive with her shrike. I like this. Ooh, that's great. That's what, 250 to the pin? Maybe a little bit longer than that, but it's she doesn't have anything in her way at all. Kristen with the defender on a power line. She's <laughs> also got a good line to the basket, though she's much farther away. But she's got the power to get there. And Paige taking the aggressive look. Is she trying to get an eagle here? <sighs> and it's safe. Wow. Right at the pinch point. And the pinch point is not very big. That that was a fantastic shot. This whole plate is the second most difficult today. Missy going raptor. So she's kind of laying this up. Look as she should. Just trying to put it in the middle. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. One and a half shots away <laughs> from her title. Kristen with a grace trying to get that birdie. That could do it. Yeah. And a putt for it. Crowd loves it. Jess with a firebird. That looks good. Excellent shot. And that's going to be a birdie for Jess. That puts all the pressure on Missy to get up and down without any problems. Which... You know, those kind of shots are easy, but they're really difficult under these circumstances. And also there's at least 100 people, if not oh, a couple hundred hundreds people. of people, I would say. There were bleachers. The bleachers were, oh, there we could see how many people there are. This is a 200 foot shot and she left it short. But she is a fantastic putter. She's got a putt or Jess is going to tie it up right here. Kristen for birdie, a little bit short. Here's the putt. She needs to make this one to secure her win. Taking her time. What a fantastic shot. Woo! Crowd loves it. I love it. Let's see that smile now. She can come on. You can smile. <laughs> you can just, there it is. Uh, you can feel the weight off her shoulders. I'm feeling like the weight's off my shoulders, and I'm not even there. <laughs> wow. Paige cleaning up for birdie. And Great birdie. Yes. Also putting the pressure on. Getting that last birdie of the day. Really good job by 